OpenAI, creators of ChatGPT, have just announced a macOS app. And so here are five reasons why you should download ChatGPT for macOS when it officially becomes available. Now, normally in order to access ChatGPT on your Mac, you usually have to go to the OpenAI website in your web browser. But thanks to the new Mac app, all you have to do is actually just use the default shortcut, which is option space. And you can instantly invoke the app's launcher to ask the conversational AI to help you with a task or a project. Now the launcher actually looks like a spotlight search window, which is pretty cool. And it even has a paperclip button that gives you access to more useful features, which brings us to reason number two, and that's clicking on the paperclip icon gives us access to not only uploading a file, a photo or taking a photo, but also taking a screenshot, which is the first thing that I wanna focus on. What's interesting about the screenshot portion is that users can actually take a screenshot of any of the apps that are open on your Mac from the drop down menu, even if it's off screen, you just select it from the list, or you can take a screenshot of your entire desktop, of course, but whatever you decide to choose, you can send it immediately to ChatGPT. And so for example, you could take a screenshot of a recent MacRumors.com article, maybe covering Apple Music's top 10 albums of all time. And then I asked ChatGPT to provide a summary from the top critics reviews of each album that's talked about in this article. And it gave me that information super quickly, which is wild to do from a screenshot. Sticking with that paperclip button for reason number three, you can actually take a photo by uh, accessing your Mac's FaceTime camera and then just holding up whatever objects you want in front of the camera and you can have ChatGPT give you more information about what it sees. I held up my iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, and unfortunately AI in general, not just ChatGPT, is still having trouble with specific iPhone models here and it says it's an iPhone 13 Pro or 14 Pro. Close enough, I guess, I don't know. Voice chat is another major feature that's incredibly useful in the Mac OS app. You can click the headphones icon in the main window and you'll actually be able to set up and choose a voice. There are four to choose from and you can have uh, spoken conversations, all hands-free and the voice transcriptions will be saved in your history. Audio, of course, is not stored. Unfortunately, the real-time voice conversation feature that was shown off with the new ChatGPT 4.0 update is not currently available in macOS, but it will be coming in the next few weeks. So for right now, you'll have kind of the basic delayed response style voice feature, uh, but you can still ask it to do and search for whatever you might like, which is pretty useful. Lastly, ChatGPT for Mac is pretty customizable. If you wanna go into settings, you can control whether OpenAI will use your content to train its model. You can have the desktop launcher keyboard shortcut changed if you don't like option space. And you can enable or disable ChatGPT capabilities, including web browsing, Dolly, image generator, and code interpreter. You can also add custom instructions that influence how ChatGPT responds so that you can make responses more formal or more casual and specify how long or short the responses should be. Now there are tons of options here to play with and I can only imagine the new features that are going to be added within time to this already powerful application. But of course, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. How do you feel about the new updates for ChatGPT and more specifically, the Mac OS app? Let me know down in those comments. This has been Down with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you around in the next video.